Um, this year, at our General Assembly, we decided to do something a bit bold um, as a follow-up to uh, last year's GA. Last year's GA, we talked about uh, the resistance of women uh, in, in a particular context, and what it triggered was a wave of um, so many, di many different things that we kind of said, okay, we really need to uh, look at this. So, um, and the year it's been with the hashtag MeToo, for example, and all these conversations that started uh, uh, surfacing around uh, women and whoever identifies as a woman uh, in terms of um, the, you know, even conversations around feminism and claiming back feminism. I live in Ireland and we've just won a pretty extraordinary referendum in terms of, so we're still talking about being able to actually even gain our bodily autonomy. So um, we thought it was only uh, timely for us as an, as an anti-racist uh, network and movement to start looking at actually ourselves and women within our own movement um, because there's a tendency I think to erase women from whatever spaces that they contributed to and uh, historically I am from Algeria and women absolutely fundamentally contributed to uh, not even contributed one hour in the, the war for independence and then suddenly most of them have been just erased or the idea of like okay you fought but now you go back to the kitchen kind of uh, conversation so I think it is for for a very robust and strong and powerful anti-racist movement we need to be a feminist and intersectional anti-racist movement and to be able to do that we need to self-reflect on how we are ourselves um, and in within how do we uh, how do we manage the dynamics within the movement itself and how do we become, you know, because one of the, the biggest issues I think personally would be how this double situation happened for a lot of women in the movement who will not speak up uh, because of the fear of the backlash on the movement and the movement is too strong and, and too... Um, but also the priority is the movement and we for, so so we're, what we're talking about is actually starting a whole journey into that what's important is not just the anti-racist movement it's women within the anti-racist movement as well and they're as important as the, the movement because they can't be separated they're the same thing so um, very excited about that I think it's absolutely a journey it's a process we are learning um, I think we're very good at learning, and we're very open, and we are very open at being challenged, and there's this real self-reflection that's going to be happening, um, and also being really proud of, you know, I don't need the permission of anyone to be a feminist. I don't need the permission of any mainstream white middle class feminism to tell me that it's okay for me to be a feminist. So there is something about also moving and shifting the idea that um, women of color uh, could uh, possibly be like in, 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 a, in a mainstream feminist movement that we this idea that we're seen more as a project than a partner where the people that are worked with and not actually people that are uh, our partner and equal partners in the in in the movement for for women's liberation and women's freedom so and women's rights so I think us being very proactive towards this uh, is very important I am uh, personally really excited about it um, and uh, yeah let's see what's going to happen and our learning.